What's up, YouTube? Listen, family, it's the weekend, and so class is in session. I like to use the weekends as a chance to teach you guys some things so that you can go out and apply what's learned on Monday morning when you guys start to get busy, okay? With that being said, it's also a time for you to relax, rejuvenate, and refocus, guys, and I wanna make sure you're doing that as well because we will look to get to it on Monday, okay? With that being said, man, major salute to those of you that did your thing on this week. Major salute to those of you that just got your feet wet on this week. Remember, guys, it's about progress. It's about risk management. It's about learning these markets and understanding this a marathon, okay? I'm gonna talk about a lot about reacting today and why is that so important. But without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into it. I first wanna give some love to my guy Eric. He he hit me yesterday and he talked about the fact that patience equals patience. I love that. Okay, patience pays, guys. We say that all the time around here, but it does, man. And he went on to say, Chris, I bought a $170 put on NVIDIA for earnings, and you know how they missed it all. So, guys, when NVIDIA reported, they plummeted, and then they made all that back and some the very next day. That's the wickedness of the market, and that's called algo trading. And that's one thing I want you guys to look out for, even if you guys master your charts and all that stuff to a T. Sometimes things outside of your control can happen. He's referring to that in this particular play. Listen to this, guys. I'm thinking I was going to be good the next day and then they had the rally and I was down a thousand dollars. OK, now risk management is important, guys. I don't like you guys losing money, but I know that comes with the game. OK, but you need to manage your risk. You need to make sure that you're not investing more than you can afford to lose. He said, I originally had two contracts and I got out break even to get lower since it ran up more and bought two more contracts. I told myself I'm either losing it all or I'm not selling at this much of a loss. I remember the levels you call out for NVIDIA. Most of them were resistance levels that became support. Absolutely, guys. A lot of what we discussed and what I'm gonna talk about in a minute, guys, is like that. Resistance in the stock, I mean the top, okay, oftentimes can be uh, support at one point in time as well, okay? So they kind of become interchangeable. One minute it held as a bottom, one minute it started as a ceiling. And so listen to the, to the correlation between that, okay? He said, um, I remember the levels, most of them were resistant levels that got broken down further. Came out on top $110 after being down $1,000. That feels good to win like that after being down so much. Thanks for your guidance. Listen, man, I, I told him this, and I'm gonna tell you guys this and we are gonna get to it. A win, no matter how big or small, always feels better than a loss. Guys, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, guys, class is in session, and I'm going to use the spy to teach you guys on a day. I'm going to teach you guys using line charts and candlesticks on a day because around here, I want you to master both. Okay, I want you to be able to look at this and see money like I do when I look at any chart. Okay, and then I want you to look at candles, and I want you to also be able to see opportunity and what the candles are indicating for you guys okay so with that being said guys we are going to go ahead today and i want to break some of this down i'm going to be going through both but i'm going to start off with lines so that you guys can kind of clearly see these levels i want you to write these down because these will be the moves to look out for for next week remember we take it one day at a time one play at a time we are about to crush next week so let's get ready to get to it all right guys the spy is currently sitting at 403.94 it has broken through all of my support levels okay that was meaning we were in an uptrend now we are in a downtrend so look at this and write this down for me okay write this first number down 411.35 write this next number down right here 40806 okay what is significant about both of those when we have a bounce this is going to be the levels both of these two 411 to 408 so we just going to call it 411 okay will be the two levels that when the spy do wake back up, it got knocked out on Friday, okay? When it wakes back up and it has a pop, that's gonna be resistance. That's gonna be your new resistance level. So remember how this particular week, guys, the, uh, 420, well, first it was 416. I said, guys, if we get to 416, we will run. 
and then we broke through 416 and then boom we end up touching 420 but it ended up going to 421 before it crashed okay in the same instance that's why you have to be nimble in this game okay 408 to 411 so i'm just going to say 411 to keep it clean okay but you've seen the two we just caught out that's to the upside okay you always want to make money or at least be able to you don't have you can do what you want to do but know where to go in both directions okay now to the downside okay i want you guys to see this right here everybody write this number down 390 89 okay now check this out i'll teach you about this in momentarily but i want the guys to get you in the habit of knowing how to master levels whether you have lines written all over your chart or not because the better you get at this it will help you in your investing because you will start knowing how to buy low and where to buy certain stocks at but when you are ready to make some money with trading and doing options you definitely will be a beast okay so 390.89 is where this level at now look look at the current price we're sitting at 403.94 this is an after hour so it's probably gonna pop up before it come back down here on monday so expect the wild moves okay but when we get to boogie and back down that 390 level guys is where you are going to want to look for support okay you're going to look for support now i'm about to transition and teach you guys something else about how levels come before this 390 will ever be tested let's go ahead and dive into it all right now check this out guys robin hood has pulled out some new charts and so i'm going to show you guys this one now this one i want you guys to peep my my lines on this one okay okay and so you got the 200 that's sitting at the top that's what we got smacked at on this time frame okay but then check this out guys if you look over here to where this cursor is at look at that blue line look at where that next blue line at and that next blue line happens to be the 50 ema okay ema means exponential moving average okay so before we ever get to 390 okay we are going to see 400 operate as a level of support as a level that it's going to look to touch so if it bounced from there you guys may see a little action happen right there why because that's a significant level that's the 50 okay we call that the 50 but when we say 50 we're talking about the 50 moving average or the 50 ma okay that's what that is but that's 400 i just showed you guys on the line chart 390 okay so now you know the range so when you are doing these plays and making your money you have to know that plays will will be within the range of that and then if it breaks through 390 guys prepare for a landslide down all the way to maybe new or the, the if not new all-time lows at least the previous all-time lows okay 360 all right but with that being said i want you guys to see this so that you can see it for yourself now if we go out and use it on this look at this this is the four year chart and if you even look in here let me just show my show it for you so you guys can see if you look at where that candle was at you see already that it is headed towards that 400 that blue line that 50 ma okay the 50 day all right and so you want to look out for 400 we already at 403 so you could very well see a gap down past that a gap down just means the stock opens up even lower than where it it closed at. okay and so it you might even have to deal with 400 if we open up at 399 okay we will know that when um futures come out tomorrow if how the markets is going to do we, we get a pop will we get some more downside and then obviously we'll know more in real time once uh, pre-market kicks off on monday morning okay but with that being said guys i want you to see these levels and these lines they have significance for a reason they're just not there just for the sake of being there okay these will be places that your stocks get hung up at these may be places to exit at to get in that you just have to know and have your strategy intact okay so i just wanted to show you guys this let me show you guys the one day chart this was friday okay look at this massive drop when fed Powell got to speaking 
boom, and it just went down, 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 down all day. Okay, that was a rare type of day. I was I was even blown away by that move, guys. But that happens. Okay, on the week, look at what this looks like. It broke through all levels and every one of your indicators are trending to the downside so when we say stuff like the trend is your friend look at the blue line look at the orange line look at the purple line what direction are they going okay they're going down so even if you get some pops they might go back up to touch those levels but until those cross back up to the upside we are going down we will be trending downward that don't mean that you can just blindly buy puts though guys okay because the market will hit you with the uap and so you want to know okay i want to be strategic let me see the levels remember i told you 408 411 okay so if we don't break through those levels those might be great entry points to where you buy your put at if you see continued downward pressure guys we're not bears or bulls around here we get money okay and if you rock with me i need you to master the charts because we have mastered investing we buy quality stocks we hold we put 250 dollars in every two weeks we have a long-term outlook with stocks but when we want to make money lateral to our long-term holdings our pillars bti the apples okay you need to know how to look at your chart and what is it actually saying what story is it telling okay listen guys i'm a spoon feed this stuff to you and i'm gonna make sure you understand it okay and if you don't you need to just book a coaching call so i can break it down even further i can pull up different charts okay i can walk you through this stuff i can show you how there's nothing but money and opportunity when you understand clearly how to look at this and how to make your moves off of this intel okay with that being said guys let's get ready to do our thing this week hopefully this was helpful hopefully this added value to you if it did please make sure you like and subscribe remember guys we make videos like this every day so if you like this one make sure you check out the next one remember most people see the end result very few consider the journey so do me a favor don't forget to like subscribe to the channel make sure you guys grab some free stock cues in my link below and i'll catch you guys in the next one Peace.